on the way. A little bit of a late start. And it's raining. That's all right. Because we're cruising, heading there. How you feeling? Good. Good, me too. One state down. Mississippi and uh, we're at gas station getting some gas and uh, just making sure the old charger's doing good she is she not using any oil which is good Stopping about every 200 miles or so. So, we're getting there. Alright, well, as you can tell, we made it to Gas Monkey. There's their merch store. Might have to go get Tori a t-shirt before we leave. And here's the truck. Oh yeah. She is gonna be a long trip home. Pretty cool though. Definitely pretty cool. Got back there, we were a distributor. Richard left us a Miller Light beer. Oh yeah. All right, well, we're gonna get to tinkering. It's just the, but it's disconnect. How many miles is on this thing? 57,645. It's probably 157,000. Hey, comes with a phone charger. Does it? Oh, yeah. And a phone charger on the dash. The windshield is destroyed. That's good. Didn't see that. Well, I finally figured out how to get the hood open. And I brought the perfect tool. Kaseba's good at holding the hood up because it won't stay up. That's a dumpster uh, right there. Yeah, I'm going to go find me a 2 by 4 hey, Here she is. It doesn't look too bad under here. Maybe she'll ride. Under here, she's leaking a little oil, but that's all right. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna be no biggie. Well, let's see if, if she'll start. She's got any juice at all. Oh man, she's good. Oh yeah, she fires up. And she idles. Yeah. All right, well, we changed the oil uh, check in all the gear fluid. Still got to check the front. Kaseba put in a uh, cigarette lighter for me so I can charge my phone and whatnot. This was on the carburetor, right? Yes, it was. I don't know what this is. The oil filter was kind of a pain to get off, but we got it. And 
it sounds like it's got a pretty good vacuum leak. Oh, you want to get a butt connector for that? Yeah. Uh, sounds like it's got a really good vacuum leak, so we're going to have to maybe try to try that now. But it idles for the most part. This thing lacks old. I think I've put eight quarts in this thing already. So, keep on trucking. There we go. Now we're full. Eight quarts. Which means I have two quarts to make it to the next gas station. All kinds of wires that don't lead nowhere. And these wires are old. <laughs> they don't want to bend. It's a nice day though. Yeah. It's getting warm, but it's not too bad. Well, we left our mark with all the oil that I spilled. Yep, and definitely gonna cuss us out when we leave, I'm sure. <laughs> That's what happens when you let people work on yep. stuff in your parking lot. Sure enough. That's made in the US of A. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. Score. Nice little uh, bungee strap here holding it down. I don't see a date on it, so it doesn't look that old anymore. All right. Well, professionally installed. Yeah. Let's see if we can figure out where the heck this... Uh, I was going to just take a peek and see if there was an obvious hole. Well, that vacuum leak? Yeah, I mean, you got a hole there and a hole on the back side. Those look like coolant holes. Is that going in the carb right now? Yeah, it, it's the plate under the carb. Oh, really? Yeah, there's one on the back too. But I didn't feel suction. We'll see. Look at this big old ground wire. Yep. Perfect. You want to crank it up again? Yeah. gasket could be leaking I guess. Well it sounds like it's come from over there now. Now it sounds like it's coming from over there. I mean some of it is gonna be I don't know. I bet it's I bet it's the gasket on the bottom. Carburetor gasket. Just clean up, hit the road.
I've seen most of them. We didn't build them. this one. We built one like it. We built this. This is Stevie G's. He's built a garage to put that in. Um, same type of car, not exactly the same, not the very car, but same Richard's first car he had in high school. This red one? Yeah, you saw that on there, four speed. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's a pretty car. Hey, but it's a four speed. Yeah. So many of them are for a man. Yeah, so the Hellcat. Is this the one that got stolen? Hellcat number two got stolen. We got that's that one right there. And that's all sent back to uh, and redone. So is this just on the road stop? It's, from, it's like an early production. Uh, it's basically you could make a race car, but there's no VIN. You can never there, you can never tie. This is number that's one. Number one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that something? Still number one. Number one. And that's and that Zero that's number two. two. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. That's the very first fire. It's crazy. It's actually, everything on there is a little bit different than '67. Like all, all the the trim pieces have fallen down, and they they were in terrible shape. Firebird number one. Crazy. This was one of y'all's first builds here, wasn't it? That's episode one, number one. That he thought. Now this is still number one, but that's the car. Just a column shift. They're both. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, the 320. This is one that's a, it's a high output. That's so these two ran as one lot at Barrett. So everybody was bidding on this car only, and not and waiting for this car. But, but in the book, they had once the Richard was there. He's like, shit, that's fixing to hit the road. Side of Shreveport, Louisiana. Um, here at a truck stop, had to get some fuel. Getting 14 and a half miles per gallon. It's pretty good. So, Casiba's car. Hold on, and I'll switch it over there. Casiba's car 
it's only at half a tank and i think it's because we took a thousand pounds of tools out of the back but this old girl's doing pretty good she's got a pretty good little leak going right there at the old uh distributor i think that seal's bad or it might be the intake i can't really tell but it's spreading old everywhere got a little bit of a coolant leak but i think it's just this hose and that ain't no big deal i fabbed me up a sweet catch can here for my radiator fluid high tech so this thing's doing good we're just uh cruising about plantation and I'm on my lonesome for the next 40 minutes so hopefully the last 40 minutes will be good to me <laughs> 